What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in Need for Speed and today we are going to be moving on from the Volvo as you guys saw earlier today. We're going to be moving on to a Nissan Fairlady Z. Now the Fairlady Z has really kind of like a special place for me because the Fairlady Z is always has always been something, I mean you see the different generations like the 240Z, 260Z, 280Z. These cars have always really had a special uh, special spot for me, special place for me, and or to me. And there's just so much about these cars that shaped modern sports cars as we know them. And the 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 lines of these cars, the the angles of the body, the way these cars just sit, and especially if you've ever seen one in person, they look so aggressive. Yet they have a a real class and a real style to them. They're not they're not just angry. They're not just in your face. They are very very stylish. They have a, like I said the utmost class. And the body kits actually look really really cool too. The Hot Wheels Z Works with the Kaido Garage and everything on the hood looks really nice. So does the Liberty Walk kit. I ended up going with the uh, the Z Works uh, kit for this car. But you can go whichever with whichever one you want with uh, you want to. Um, I honestly went with the uh, the Z Works kit honestly because it had the uh, the Kaido, um, sorry Kaido House um, kind of design on the uh, on the hood. But um, but then again, it all depends on what you uh, what you want to you know go for with the car as far as that goes. And I think like I just liked the graphic. But this kit is actually really similar to the Liberty Walk kit. But it all depends on your personal preference. And I tinted out the windows because I think it looks a little bit meaner that way. It just, it just kind of sets it off just that little bit more. And, I mean, I'll, I'll say it again, but whenever you see one of these in person, which admittedly is not very often, they're so, they're so striking, yet, like I said, so classy. And if I ever do do a uh, kind of like a restoration build on a car in, you know, in real life, I actually take a car and actually you know, restore it and, and update it with some modern tech, this this car is, is definitely going to be high up there on my list of considerations because this thing is very, very cool. I don't know what it is about just the, I mean, the, the look and just the feel and the style, it all just kind of comes together in this really, really awesome package. And these old Zs, dude, these old Zs were... Yeah, they, they were absolutely incredible as, uh, e even in just the looks department. I mean, I would drive one of these just to cruise up and down mountains, and it doesn't, don't, don't even have to go, go crazy fast or anything like that. Just, you know, just cruise mountain passes, you know. Admittedly, you, you know, you would cruise them in a slightly, uh, spirited manner, but at the same time, that's all... That's really all you would need out of this car. Just a really, really clean body kit like this. Um, lowered down some really nice offset wheels. And you'd have a car with an incredible stance. Something that could do fast cruising really, really well. And just a really, really sweet package. Um, and it would depend on whether or not you wanted to keep the stock engine. Um, I'm not talking about in the game. I'm talking about real life if you built one of these. I don't know if I would keep the stock engine or not. I mean... You could go classic and keep the stock engine and, you know, rebuild it, do whatever you're going to do, tune it back up. Or you could do a modern engine swap. You know, I've seen some of these with LS engines. I've seen some of these with, you could do it. You could do a 2J if you wanted to. You could do a 1J. You could do a 1.5J, which is basically, I believe that's a 1J with a 2J head, if I'm not mistaken. But that's completely off topic. That's, now, as far as the, the, the build for this car... We did a we did a turbo. We upgraded. Let's see. We upgraded a couple other things, including the uh, the nitrous system. We upgraded the cooling cooling system, and if I remember correctly, got the horsepower somewhere in the uh, the three hundreds range. I think it was right around three hundred and fifty when all was said and done. But um, we did upgrade the uh, we did upgrade the head, and that gave us a really nice boost in power. The exhaust uh, the exhaust gave us a really nice boost in power as well. I think where are we now? We're at like three hundred and twenty horsepower. And I think we do just a little bit more to bump us up to around 350, I think. Either that or we might stay at 320. 
I've done it, but I've done a bunch of builds in Need for Speed yet, and you guys, there, there's, there's a bunch more builds coming very soon because I'm really addicted to building cars in Need for Speed right now. So there's a bunch more builds coming really soon. So get ready for those because if it ever seems like I'm like, well, we may have gone to 350 or we went to 320, it's because I've built like a ton of cars lately, and um, I'm like. I'm trying to think of like different cars right now because this car, I can't remember how many cars back it was like in, in accordance to the cars that I've actually built, but um, but just know that there's a really sweet set of cars uh, coming to the channel very, very soon. So, um, taking this thing out for a drift test, wow, nice voice crack, taking it out for a drift test, seeing how it does, and I actually, it was at this point that I knew that I forgot to put Tomcat as the license plate, and uh, that kind of, that kind of made me sad. I was like, like, come on, man killing me where is that where's the tomcat plate but uh that'd be really cool though I, I i would love to do like an actual you know an actual plate of like tc97 or something like on a real car that'd be really cool now the feel of this car is um the feel of this car i would say is balanced it's not insanely slidey like the volvo that we recently did was but it's like I don't know, it maintains a balance very, very nicely. It's not, and I know the Volvo I said was kind of balanced, but at the same time, the Volvo was balanced in a really extreme way. This is balanced in a little bit more of a, um, let's just put it this way. If you like your drift cars to be just a little bit on the tighter side, you're going to really like this. You're going to really like this car, and you're going to like how it drives. It drives in a very controlled kind of way. It drives in a very, um very non-scary way if that's if, if that's a good way to put it it drives in a very non-scary way and um i don't know why i ran this with like the cinematic camera on all, like the whole time honestly i had it on and i kind of forgot that i had it on and it just kind of stayed that way so i just kind of left it and just kept kind of playing around with it and eventually i was like man i'm going back to the standard camera um the i will admit the the cinematic camera is fun to use for uh like for certain periods of time and it's nice that they give you the option of switching between the cinematic camera and, you know, the normal camera. I don't have a dislike for the cinematic camera, honestly. I enjoy playing with the cinematic camera. But, um, I think, I think this car is gonna be one of those cars that, if you enjoy a balanced car that looks really good doing what it's doing, you're gonna love this thing. So, if you guys enjoyed this build, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.